air power, a domain the United States Air Force is known to excel in and pushes the boundaries beyond what is thought possible. When pilots soar across the horizon, they deliver indispensable aid to the warfighter. But when the very air these pilots breathe fails them, the results can be devastating. The bottom line here is we're here to support the warfighter to reduce these physiological events occurring on OBOGS equipped jets. One of these physiological events is hypoxia which occurs when there's a shortage of oxygen to the brain, causing impaired judgment or loss of consciousness. To study the concern regarding hypoxia events, the 711th Human Performance Wing on Wright-Patterson set up a state-of-the-art lab to test onboard oxygen-generating systems, or OBOGs. The lab is trying to improve our understanding of this technology and how it operates in, in a dynamic flight environment. This is one, one lab where you can really see the importance of Wright-Patterson in the whole structure of the Air Force. The OBOGS lab systems can test operations at altitudes of up to 100,000 feet, simulate in-flight transient operating conditions, and even test the effects of different chemical contaminants on the system. What is special about the lab is we can replicate the actual aircraft environment that these systems are exposed to. There really isn't another facility uh, that I'm aware of in this in the world that's able to operate under Five these conditions. Set up the facility began operations near the end of 2014. Run by a specialized team of life support engineers and technicians, the lab actively investigates for any weaknesses in OBOX's performance. Uh, currently the research is ongoing. We have discovered that Pressure transients, transients on the inlet pressure air to these systems, uh, does have a very dramatic impact on the performance of the system and can drop the oxygen concentration of these systems. And with even more research required, the future looks bright. There's going to be a, a huge impact down the road. We're very proud that we'll be able to actually save lives and save aircraft and have a huge impact on the Air Force.